Hi everyone. Um, the Southern Rat Whale is a pretty um, great common sight along the South African coast and it's what brings many tourists, foreign and local, to the cliffs of Bahamanas and um, what inspired this festival. Now just to put things into perspective, that is my hand being dwarfed by a right whale's flipper bones. And the flipper is actually quite short in comparison to the rest of the body. So we are talking about a very big whale, about 12 to 15 meters um, at adulthood. Right whales are easily distinguished from other large whales as they do not have a dorsal fin and they also have creamy white callosities on their heads. As you can see, right whales like to play with kelp as this one in the photo. It will move the kelp onto its head and then roll it down its back and off its flukes and then just start all over again. I think it's just fun and they like the sensation. But they won't only do this with a kelp, they'll do this with fishing line or rope and that is why right whales do get entangled from time to time and this could have dire effects on them. If you do see a right whale entangled, please do not try and disentangle it yourself. Um, you can contact the um, disentanglement unit by contacting NSRI or Oceans and Coast and they will send a unit out to disentangle the whale because they know how to deal with a whale that doesn't know what's going on and is stressing out and you don't want to be hit by a three meter fluke. It is big. Um, but back to the head and the callosities. The actual callosities are gray roughened skin and then it is colonized by little crustaceans known as cyamids or whale lice and that is what gives it the white creamy color. Biologists can use these patterns as it is unique to each whale and remains pretty similar throughout its adult life and um, biologists can track the whales this way. Uh, aerial photographic survey has been taking place the last 30 years off the coast of South Africa and not only can researchers then um, calculate how many calves a cow has had in that period but also they determine how big the population is that visits our coast and how it is increasing and at present it is increasing at about 7% per year and that means like about 40 years ago seeing a right whale along our coast was quite rare because the numbers were so low and as you know today you can go outside and you probably see quite a few right whales blowing. So right whales generally have a black back but some of them do have grey markings. It may be a grey marking like this one where it's predominantly a black back with patches of grey be it like a V or half a V or I don't know if you can see properly but just uh, splotches of grey as on this one shoulder area. These are always female and about 10% of the population have a coloration like this. Then there are others that are predominantly grey and have black spots and also a black collar on its neck. These are generally males, about 95% of them are males. And um, the calves are actually born looking white. And many people think that they are albinos but we've never actually documented a true albino southern right whale. The white um, changes into the gray brown color as the whale ages. Some whales do have white patches that remain white throughout its life. This one would have had a white patch on its back and then as it aged the gray became gray and the white in the middle will stay white throughout its life. About 5% of animals along our coast have white patches on their back. So. The cows come to our shores around um, June and then you'll notice the calves from around July, August and then they'll leave at about November. They come to the south coast because they are sheltered bays that protect the calves from predators and also from the um, adverse conditions, the weather conditions. Right whales have a north-south migration like many great whales do they will leave at the height of summer to go to feeding grounds in the southern ocean and then in winter they will migrate back north to breeding and nursery grounds. However, about 10 years ago, um, biologists were on the west coast and they observed, oopsie, right whales. And this in itself wasn't that strange because 
Kharkov pairs have been known to be on the west coast as well as the south coast. But what was strange was that these weren't Kharkov pairs that were milling about. These were actually generally large animals that were diving for about 10 minutes and then they'd come up for three or four breaths and then it would be flukes up and they back down again for a long dive. When they were at the surface for longer periods, they had their mouths open. And you must remember, this is an animal that doesn't need to open its mouth to breathe. They have blowholes. Um, and also, they found that it seemed as if they were trying to get something off their baleen. We call that baleen flashing. Or they're moving their heads up and down as if trying to get something down their throat, known as head nodding. All of these were indicating that the whales were feeding along our coast, on the west coast. But if you ask people about whales feeding, they'll be like, but don't they feed on krill? And yes, it is true. This is a picture of um, the suburba, the krill of the Antarctic. And in their southern ranges, they do feed exclusively on the krill, it seems. But as you go further north, it seems like the species does change. But it also seemed that they were still feeding further south than our coast and in deeper pelagic waters. So what were they feeding on on our coast? Well, you have to look at a right whale and how it's built and how it can feed to see what it's feeding on. Right whales have very bowed heads and are quite, the heads are big so that they can accommodate 220 plates of baleen. It's not short baleen, it's quite long baleen. The baleen can be up to four meters long. You can see the edges are frayed. And this frayed bit is always on the inside 